Leo, welcome to your monthly love prediction reading for the month of March. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your love and support. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is fluid, so this reading can resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay, Leo, um, for the monthly reading, I use the Celtic Cross spread. So let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important, accurate love messages for Leo for the month of March. Spirits and angels, please show me. Leo, show me now. Magician, okay. The lovers sitting in your past. Okay, so there's this connection in your past with the tower here. I feel like um, it was very sudden. Perhaps it was either sudden or both of you could have had a big fight. Okay, either or. I feel like something possibly was being revealed. Um, could be feelings, could have been a third party situation for some of you, not all of you. With the Seven of Swords here, this is a very sneaky energy. Leo, I feel like um, with Emperor here in reverse, maybe. Okay, so you got the Empress and the Emperor, okay? But the Emperor is in reverse here. Leo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed, okay? So there is somebody here who could have taken this connection for granted or taken. Uh, advantage of you or again could go vice versa or abuse the power over this connection or um, abuse the power over you we've got the hangman here in reverse I feel like Leo a lot of you after thinking things through after being stagnant for a while I feel like a lot of you are seeing things in a completely different perspective now okay when it comes to this person or when it comes to this connection so with Empress here, I feel like this could either be how your person see you or how you see this person. But there is this energy where I feel someone sees one person here as very valuable and that this person is worth fighting for, I feel. However, hmm, got the Queen of Wands here. So there could be a third party. Whether you are the third party or the other person is a third party, I do sense there could be some cheating, lying for a lot of you. Not for all of you, but for a lot of you, that could have been, um, again, a very sneaky behavior. Because I do read the Queen of Wands as a third party, as the other woman or the other man. Perhaps a lot of you could have found out about something, okay, about this cheating and lying scenario. And because of that, the tower is here. So it ended. I feel like a lot of you, you and your person could have ended not in good terms, okay? We got the star here in reverse. I feel like Leo, a lot of you are just trying your best to heal from this connection. You're just trying to heal, but it's kind of hard right now. I feel like it looks like it's hard, but it's you're on your way to healing, okay? With the two swords here, I feel like this either is something that refuse whether you refuse to see or feeling indecisive or two sorts could also indicate maybe you could have cut this person off or block communication but let's see leo can we clarify two of swords mm -hmm. wow they are all swords here okay this is actually your advice section here i feel like leo the advice for you is to use your head over your heart okay as in be practical be logical uh, when it comes to your approach to love okay perhaps in the past you could have been way too giving way too kind to your person or to anybody in your past and maybe this is why people have been taking advantage of you uh, perhaps now is to think smart be smart okay um, don't wear your heart on your sleeves okay don't wear hard on your sleeves because you know all the swords here are definitely indicates indicating intellect logic uh, being logical being practical i feel like this is the advice for you is to 
seriously be very logical and practical uh, in your approach when it comes to love, right? And and set your boundaries because the Queen of Swords is here as well. Set your boundaries. If you have, you need to have your defenses up by all means <laughs> because Seven of Swords is here. So you've always possibly been dealing with this person. Could be your recent past person or past persons before. You know how many exes in the past. It depends. But I feel like you've always been dealing with people who could may may not have been very trustworthy, right? could have been very sneaky, very dishonest, very deceptive. So it's time to protect yourself, protect your heart because the two of swords is here, you know. Protect your heart because look at her, she's closing her heart chakra. I mean, not really protecting your heart as in not letting somebody come in, but protect yourself in a way where, you know, just pay attention to red flags, right? Pay attention to red flags, that's for sure. And the judgment is right here. Don't worry about whoever who has done you wrong in the past. Um, it looks like with the judgment here, uh, Spirit's trying to tell you as well that if somebody has done you wrong in your past, let them, you know, face their own karma. You know, uni the universe actually has your back. Because judgment for me also could indicate, you know, karma. But Leo, I feel like a lot of you could have found out about this person, maybe, you know, lying, cheating and whatnot. Mm, through a little bit of a spying here, through some sort of communication as well. The Page of Wands is here, Leo. So I feel like a lot of you could be looking forward to a new life, okay, new adventure here with Page of Wands. Could indicate that to me, could indicate so some of these travel or starting something new, a new project, a creative project, something that you see there is a potential. Okay, um, just exploring, I would say in March, you're going to explore other possibilities, other options. Let's see a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, for the month of March, I feel like a lot of you are still trying to get over your past person, but ready to explore someplace else. But for me, the page of ones with the, even the seven swords here, this could actually be your person trying to sneak their way back into your life, okay, for some of you, because they may see you as the four of cups here in reverse. They may see you as a missed opportunity and because they do love you, okay, they do have deep emotions for you. Again, roles can be reversed here, and we've got the six of pentacles. And ten of pentacles here in reverse. So yeah, it does look like there is a separation still going on uh, for the month of March, but the love is there. I feel like your person does love you deeply. They may want to talk to you um, in regards to you know uh, let's let's try to be fair to each other. That's what I'm sensing here. Let's see a little bit more. Yeah. So Leo, when it comes to work, your finances, it looks like it's going to improve, okay? But um, a lot of you may, I feel like a lot of you will be focusing on your money, okay? Focusing on your money. Six of Pentacles also could indicate maybe you're helping people or people are actually helping you to succeed, especially when it comes to your career. But the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, so it does look like uh, for some of you, you may or may not return to this person from your past, okay? I mean, free will is always at play here. Um, this is just a, what I'm seeing right now. Who knows? Things can change. I feel like a lot of you are just going to focus on your work and explore some new ventures or, you know, could be exploring new people, okay? Um, but I feel like, again, Two of Swords also it could mean a choice, right, Leo? You've got a choice that you can make. Do you want to return to somebody from the past or do you want to move on? It looks like most of you are just going to mainly focus on your your work, okay? On your finances. All right, Leo, this is your reading for the month of March. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. If nothing else, hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting videos almost every single day lately. Take care and be your bye.